Mario jumped onto the video game scene over 40 years ago, but there is so much more to learn about everyone's favorite plumber before you head to the theaters for his next big adventure. Everyone knows who Mario is, and that's no accident. Nintendo has meticulously created one of gaming's biggest franchises, going all the way back to their flagship character's debut appearance in 1981's Donkey Kong arcade game. This series has a long and proud history as one of the most consistent, entertaining, fun, and fresh franchises in all of gaming that constantly pushes the boundaries of the genre. That's exactly why this newest film adaptation is so highly anticipated by fans. Beginning with 1983's Mario Bros. arcade game, Nintendo transitioned the franchise into home entertainment systems in 1985 with the release of Super Mario Bros. on the NES. Players enjoyed controlling both Mario and Luigi as they traversed the Mushroom Kingdom in search of Princess Peach. This core game loop continued into later installments on home consoles and handhelds before making the leap to 3D. It's me, Mario! Hello! As gaming technology advanced, so too did the complexity of games being released on each successive console. With the release of 1996's Super Mario 64, new features continued to be added to make each Mario adventure more interesting. The franchise remains an essential piece of gaming history. Only time will tell which aspects of this prestige franchise will show up in the upcoming movie. Originally, Mario was supposed to jump into the big screen on December 21, 2022. Sadly for fans hoping to spend the holiday season with Luigi, Bowser, and Princess Peach, that release date was pushed back to 2023. Fortunately, we won't have to wait much longer to see Mario's adventures in the Mushroom Kingdom. The Super Mario Bros. movie has a new release date of April 5, 2023. We're expecting the movie to make quite a bit of cash during its box office run as it won't have any animated competition trying to draw similar crowds. As for Nintendo's homeland of Japan, the film will open on April 28th, just a few weeks later. Universal and Illumination spared no expense when it comes to casting the Super Mario Bros. movie. Voicing Mario is none other than Star-Lord himself, Chris Pratt. Charlie Day of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia joins him as Mario's brother, Luigi. Anya Taylor-Joy of The Queen's Gambit and The Menu plays Princess Peach. We can also expect to hear the scarier-than-usual tones of Jack Black as antagonist Bowser. In supporting roles, Keegan-Michael Key portrays Toad, Seth Rogen steps in as Donkey Kong, and Fred Armisen is the voice of Cranky Kong. The announcement also notes that Charles Martinet, who's voiced Mario and other notable characters in the video games since the 90s, will have surprise cameos. The Super Mario Bros. movie is the result of two powerful forces coming together, Nintendo and Illumination, and that collaborative dynamic is represented in the film's producers. On one side, you've got Chris Melodandri, the producer behind the Despicable Me and Sing franchises. On the other side, you've got Shigeru Miyamoto, the genius who created Mario as well as characters like Donkey Kong, Link, and Zelda. Together, they bring their animation and video game knowledge to the big screen. As for who's directing, the Super Mario Bros. movie recruited two figures who are quite adept at handling animated projects. Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelinek, the filmmakers behind Teen Titans Go to the Movies, helm the picture. They're working from a script penned by Matthew Fogel, who previously wrote The Lego Movie 2, The Second Part, and Minions, The Rise of Gru. As you might expect, the Super Mario Bros. movie got the standard rating for Family Fair, PG. It perfectly lines up with Illumination's other offerings like Despicable Me and The Secret Life of Pets. According to the Classification and Ratings Administration's website, the movie has earned its PG rating for action and mild violence. We expect the violence to be incredibly mild. Anyone familiar with the games knows Mario's propensity for ditching out pain only extends to jumping on Goombas or occasionally throwing fireballs at a Koopa Trooper. Even the trailers show that the action will be lighthearted and comical, as depicted when Donkey Kong hilariously slaps our favorite plumber around, or when a penguin army assaults Bowser with snowballs and the Koopa Kamek returns a favor by magically tossing them aside. Mario is one of the most popular video game characters in history, and the Super Mario Bros. franchise has always been a fundamental part of gaming culture as a result. Because of this popularity, it should come as no surprise that this isn't the first time Mario has graced a silver screen since his debut appearance in 1981. Nintendo has tried multiple times to turn Mario into a multimedia character beyond just video games, but they've never been particularly successful in the past. The first time Mario and Friends ever appeared in a feature film was in a 1986 animated adventure picture named Super Mario Bros. The Great Mission to Rescue Princess Peach. 
Since Mario had already achieved significant popularity in his home country of Japan, producers saw an opportunity to make a cheap 60-minute anime based around Mario and Luigi's usual goal of rescuing Princess Peach from Bowser. Another more infamous big-screen adaptation was in the 1993 live-action film Super Mario Bros., starring Bob Hoskins as Mario and John Leguizamo as Luigi. The movie was a total flop, currently holding an abysmal 29% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The people who made the Super Mario Bros. movie certainly know their Mario history, as the film is filled with all sorts of Easter eggs and throwbacks for fans. For example, both the film's official trailer and a character poster show our heroes driving down the Rainbow Road, a thoroughfare instantly recognizable to Mario Kart fans. Peach can even be seen riding a motorcycle, paying homage to her outfit design that goes all the way back to Mario Kart Wii. Expect homages to plenty of other worlds as well, from Luigi's Mansion to the original Super Mario Bros. On top of that, it looks like our titular plumber dons quite a few super suits throughout his adventure. In a teaser for the film, we witness Mario's showdown with Donkey Kong, where he puts on a literal cat suit, turning him into Cat Mario from Super Mario 3D World. In the trailer, we also see him soaring around in a Tanuki suit, which hails from Super Mario Bros. 3. We also know that quite a few classic Mario baddies appear in the movie, from the Hammer Brothers and the Sorcerer Kamek to Goombas, Bomoms, Piranha Plants, Buzzy Beetles, and Shy Guys. We also suspect that elements from Mario's big space-bound adventures might come into play. Some shots of upcoming Mario-themed McDonald's toys revealed a Luma, an adorable star-like creature from Super Mario Galaxy. Of course, there are even references to unique Mario properties in the marketing. During the Super Bowl, fans were treated to a Mario Brothers promo that acted as a commercial for Mario and Luigi's plumbing service. In the mock advertisement, we're treated to the same Mario rap that's also the incredibly cheesy theme of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, a series that would open each episode with that plumbing hip-hop beat. Mario as a character has completely transcended the video game franchise that created him by becoming a true, bona fide pop culture icon. Everyone's favorite plumber is a universally recognized symbol of Nintendo and gaming in general, thanks to his unique place as both a leading character and a corporate mascot. Mario is an essential part of Nintendo's business strategy, since the Super Mario games make millions of dollars with each release. But this character also has staying power with everyone. According to Guinness World Records, Mario is one of the biggest and most instantly recognized video game characters ever made by a huge margin. He was officially named the second most recognizable video game character in 2009, only getting beat out by Pac-Man by 1%. According to a statement by Mario's creator Shigeru Miyamoto, during an official briefing, his iconic character even has notable comparisons to Disney's Mickey Mouse. Miyamoto said, I felt bad that Mickey Mouse, who had been hugely popular among fans, including myself, for 60 years at that point, was even being compared to Mario, who had just been around for a few years back then. As anyone with an internet connection can tell you, it can get pretty heated online when fans discuss their obsessions over social media. While you might think that the fanbase for Nintendo's flagship franchise would be on the friendlier side since the source material is so colorful, you'd be surprised. With the release of the Super Mario Bros. trailer, fans have gone on record to voice their opinions both positive and negative about the new footage. While the consensus seems to lean towards fans loving the character designs, humor, and storytelling of the trailer, they also generally are unsold on Nintendo's choice of leading man. As mentioned, Mario is voiced by Chris Pratt, who seems to be using his regular voice to play the character, rather than imitating Mario's iconic Italian accent. This was noted by many fans on Twitter, who commented that the supporting cast featuring Charlie Day, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Jack Black will do the heavy lifting for this film. No pressure. We're entering a golden age of video game adaptations, with slam dunks like Sonic the Hedgehog and HBO's The Last of Us, proving that the curse of bad movies based on games can be broken. That being said, there's a reason people thought that curse existed in the first place, since so many terrible adaptations have been made over the years. The Super Mario Bros. movie has the potential to be the next example of a video game movie done right, but only if the filmmakers learned from previous mistakes. 
Video game movies have a reputation for being cheap cash-ins of popular gaming franchises, made hastily and with little regard for their source material. One of the worst examples of this has to be the Resident Evil films, which forsake everything good about Capcom's survival horror series by presenting big, over-the-top spectacles and not much more. 2002's Resident Evil has only a 35% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but each successive entry gets even worse reviews across the board. Mortal Kombat is another arcade-based franchise that has suffered from lackluster adaptations since the first movie in 1995, despite enjoying a cult following these days. With the star power behind the upcoming Mario movie, it's unlikely this adaptation would join the pantheon of bad video game flicks. Like with most major franchise films today, there's potential for countless spin-offs if the Super Mario Bros. movie does well at the box office. In a 2021 interview with Fast Company, Nintendo's global president Shuntaro Furukawa said that the powers that be have no intention of rushing things unless they're certain there's a market for it. He said, Animation in general is something that we are looking into, and not just this franchise. One of the big movies that could come down the pipeline if the Super Mario Bros. movie is successful is a standalone film dedicated to Donkey Kong, the beloved gorilla character voiced by Seth Rogen in this upcoming adaptation. According to Giant Freaking Robots, the film is already in development at Illumination, but the details on its potential plots remain thin. It's likely, however, that many of the characters introduced in the Super Mario Bros. movie will make appearances in this proposed Donkey Kong solo feature. Another spin-off we can expect in years to come is the Luigi's Mansion movie, based on a series of action-adventure games. Luigi's voice actor Charlie Day expressed interest in the project in an interview with ComicBook.com, saying, Yeah, my son was just playing Luigi's Mansion the other day on his Switch. Look, I'm thrilled to get the opportunity. I grew up playing Super Mario Bros., as did everyone I know, so we'll see. It's like anything else in life. I'll go if I'm invited.